Two women who loved dying more than anything else. Two women who flew for Hitler. Both talented, courageous, fearless, unconventional and ambitious. They were both awarded the Iron Cross for service to the Third Reich. And yet, they could not be more different and ended their lives on the opposite sides of history. In this Once Upon a Woman video, I want to discuss with you the amazing book by Claire Mullay, The Woman Who Flew for Hitler. The true story of Hitler's Valkyries. I cannot recommend this book enough for you to read. If you love World War II, but also if you want to learn about, you know, historical characters that we don't really discuss, that will make you a bit uncomfortable, but at the same time will really help you understand how the Third Reich treated women and class. Hannah Reich was middle class and a true supporter of Hitler. She believed in him and his vision. She tried to save his life in 1945 and to fly him to safety. Melita von Stauffenberg, the other woman, was from an aristocratic family. She was very academic and scholarly, but she also had Jewish origins. Her father was Michael Schaller and he was a Jewish man who had converted to Christianity when he was 18. For Germany at the time, for the Third Reich, for Hitler, it didn't matter if you converted or not. They were obsessed with the idea of Jewish blood. Melita was forced to hide her Jewish origins and she's going to kind of try to use some tricks like her siblings to get positions and to advance her career. Melita is a real patriot, she loves Germany, but she's starting to feel that the vision of Hitler might not be that good for Germany. Conflicted herself by her true ambitions to become, you know, a female pilot, aviation is a life. And also what's happening in Germany and in the world she starts by, you know, being a test pilot like Hannah Reich for the Third Reich. But then she feels more and more guilty for what she's doing. Hannah Reich was a Protestant from a very Christian family. Her mother is a devout Catholic, but Hannah remained Protestant. She had two siblings, her brother Kurt, a captain, and her younger sister, Heidi. She received a nice education, but she was more interested in flying and she skipped classes. By 1937, Hannah Reich has been made a test pilot for the Luftwaffe. Hannah Reich was a very ambitious woman. She loved flying. Hannah Reich's flying skill were incredible and she showed greatness in that field. She showed that she could be any man's equals when it came to flying and she knew it. She was also, as I said, a true supporter of the new regime. She really believed in Hitler and what he was doing. She didn't know all the extent of it and there is some discussion where she even said that uh, the idea of concentration camps were just a propaganda by their enemies. It feels almost like she was not seeing what was really going on in Nazi Germany. She embraced the regime completely. She took part in military actions and for this she received the so wanted when you were German Iron Cross first class one of only three women to achieve that and the truth is Hannah Reich was completely devoted to what she was doing she was truly fighting for Germany in 1945 when it became clear that Germany was not going to win the war she tried to save Hitler, but obviously that was not going to work. He didn't come with her. And after that, she herself got in trouble. And when she was trying to fly away, she was also attacked. And her right was captured by the US military intelligence officers. She was in prison for 18 months. Her father shot himself after killing her mother and her sister and her sister's children. Hannah Reich lost her family because of the defeat 
of Germany in the Second World War. After the war, German citizens were barred from flying powered aircraft, but within a few words, gliding was allowed and she took up again. It was her true passion, it was her true love, gliding, flying. Anna Wright's life and accomplishments didn't end with the Second World War, despite her own involvement in what she did during that war and the fact that she had truly believed in the regime. In 1952, Wright won a bronze medal in the World Gliding Championship in Spain. She was the first woman to compete and in 1955 she became a German champion. She continued to break records. She was still a powerhouse when it came to flying, gliding or anything that had to do with heights. She was interviewed in the 1970s about Nazi Germany. She said, I asked German Goring one day, what is this I am hearing that Germany is killing Jews? Goring responded angrily, a totally outrageous lie made up by the British and American press. It will be used as a rope to hang us someday if we lose the war. The truth is, Hannah Reich did not want to believe that the Nazi Germany was committing all the atrocities that they were accused of. She died of a heart attack at the age of 67 in Frankfurt, Germany. She had never married and she is still remembered today as one of the greatest female pilots ever. Melita, in many ways, you know, the complete opposite of Hannah, was also a great female pilot. She received also the Iron Cross for second class, which was still a massive achievement. Melita was linked to the people who were involved in the 20th July 1944 plot that aimed to assassinate Hitler. She was close to her brother-in-law, Klaus von Stauffenberg, who was actually the leader of that plot. But you have to remember here that there was still German resistance and as early as 1938, these people were trying to take down Hitler. But also after the Battle of Stalingrad, the big defeat, they knew they had to do something that Hitler became a liability and they wanted to stop the Nazi regime. These men, in their attempt in July 1944, these men were going to fail. The plan was to kill Hitler by detonating an explosive hidden in a briefcase. However, due to the location of the bomb at the time of detonation, the blast only dealt Hitler minor injuries. It was a failure. Obviously, the men responsible for it were going to pay the price. The Gestapo arrested them and killed them. More than 8,000 people were going to be arrested. 4,000 were going to be killed. The others are going to be sent to concentration camps. The all von Stauffenberg family is going to be sent, included Melita. But she's going to be released because, you know, of her military experience and her military knowledge. And then she's still going to try to help her family, her sisters, her brother-in-laws and her husband who've been arrested. She's lost absolutely everyone. She's going to try to save her husband on the 8th April 1945. Unfortunately for her, when she goes right to the camp, there's an American airplane who's going to attack her and shoot her. She's going to die of her injuries, though she managed to land at first safely. This is the lives here of two remarkable women with ambitions and who show that World War II can be told from a female perspective, from a woman's perspective. But again, I really want to recommend to you this amazing book by Claire Malley. I cannot tell you all the details you'll get of their lives and I hope that this video has given you the interest you need to get that book and read it. Because honestly, it is so well written, so well paced and I almost think that this book deserves to be a movie. I hope you enjoyed this Once Upon a Woman video that was a bit different from my queens and I will see you next time for another video. Thank you so much for your support. Bye.